This is, the, this is the first and most important way we keep ourselves in the love of God. The first and most important way we keep ourselves in the love of God is to grow in our understanding of the gospel. First and most important way you can keep yourselves in the love of God on a daily base, basis is to remind yourself of the gospel each and every day. First and most important way you can keep yourself in the love of God is to preach the gospel to yourself each and every day. Milton Vincent is a fine and faithful pastor who has written a wonderful book called The Gospel Primer, teaching us how to, yes, I know there are some from his church here, and they love him as they should. It's a book about how to preach the gospel to yourself every day. It's a book, in effect, about how to keep yourself in the love of God each and every day. And Milton writes the following. There is simply, he writes, no other way, listen, no other way, no other way, no other way to compete with, to compete with the forebodings of my conscience, the condemnings of my heart, and the lies of the world and the devil than to overwhelm such things with daily rehearsings of the gospel. There is, there is indeed simply no other way. You see, each and every day you're going to encounter the forebodings of your conscience. Each and every day you are going to encounter condemnation because to differing degrees, each and every day you are going to experience temptation and sin. So each and every day there will be a condemning conscience. Each and every day we will experience to some degree condemnation, the forebodings of our conscience and the condemnings of our hearts. Milton writes here that there, there's simply no other way to compete with these forebodings and these condemnings than to overwhelm them with a daily rehearsing of the gospel. It's exactly right. So each day as you contemplate the gospel, meditate upon the gospel, preach the gospel to yourself, receive the gospel in your soul, you overwhelm these forebodings of your conscience, these condemnings of your heart with the gospel. You keep yourselves in the love of God and your affection for the Savior grows. So, let me ask you, how much time are you devoting to this? practice each day. How much, how much time are you devoting to this? How much time are you devoting each day to keep yourselves in the love of God by growing in your understanding of the gospel through preaching the gospel to yourself each and every day? Oh, it, it, man, it's a particular joy to give you this assignment at the conclusion of this conference. Master the content of the gospel. Master the content of the gospel, review and rehearse that content each and every day, and this will keep you in the love of God. You will become each day more aware of the love of the Father and more affectionate toward the Father by your review and rehearsing of the gospel each and every day. That's how you keep yourself in the love of God. And please notice in this particular passage, it's a corporate activity. Build yourselves plural up. This is, what, this is what we do. We don't do this as individuals isolated from the local church. No, this is what we do with each other. This is what we do in the context of the local church. If you come across a friend in the context of the church and their soul is being weighed down with a condemning conscience, if, if they find themselves condemned by their sin and because of their sin, here is how you are called to build them up. You preach the gospel. You preach the gospel to them. And as you preach the gospel to them, you build them up with the most holy faith and you keep them in the love of God.